We're recording. Get started at the stroke of nine, since we're all here. Do you think we'll get snow? Looks like we may get some, yeah. Glad we recorded that. <laughs> you, you're pretty well. I'm. I'm not going to say it on the record. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll hold. Okay, it's nine a.m. On December 22nd, 2022, this is a public deliberation of the Board of Appeals of Baltimore County in case number 21201 SPHA in the matter of Basel LLC, the legal owner, uh, Kwazir Shahzad, president for the property at 8202 Pulaski Highway. Uh, with regard to a petition for special hearing to amend the opinion and order in case number 2019-0171XA and for variance relief to permit a zero foot setback in the rear and side property lines for an 18 foot high building addition in lieu of a required 30 foot minimum rear and side yard setback. The appeal is of a November 15th, 2021, and opinion and order of the ALJ, wherein both petitions were granted subject to conditions. We held hearings on March 16th and a second day on October. 26, 2022. Uh, the parties submitted written memoranda. Um, I hope you've had time to review them. The petitioner was represented uh, and had an expert testimony and the Protestants were pro se, but did have several witnesses and an engineer who testified as an expert as well. This property is on Pulaski Highway in the eastern part of Baltimore County and is zoned for automotive use which is being made of the property. It's a used car sales lot and the owner wants to add to the building so he can do minor repairs rather than have to move cars off site. Okay. Mr. Lauer? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what's your what's your view of how of this case? Well, um, I want to point out that uh, one of the issues also raised by the uh, protestants was notice. Um, just as, a, as an issue uh, that I think maybe we should address one way or the other. Uh, but my uh, my view is that um, this is zoned for auto use. Uh, I do see the uh, hardship in terms of doing the repair and selling these um, automobiles and moving them from one location to the other as a practical matter. Um, um, adding to the building and with the zoning this is, uh, it's a, seems to me that uh, uh, it is um, 
similar to other uses in the area, and I don't see a problem with that in terms of the variance and the hardship. Um, I believe the issues um, that I jotted down related to those had to do with the location of the building in the center of the lot. Um, and also, um, in, in terms of the practical difficulty and hardship, if you will, um, also the, um, the B, G and E lines, uh, in terms of requiring certain setbacks, uh, were a, a, a problem. Uh, it appears to me that there's a lot more that uh, needs to be done with B, G and E and others after, if in fact, we approve this, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, request here. Um, my, uh, my overall feel, um, this is just some input here, is that uh, I would probably uh, vote uh, for the variants and to give them the, uh, the request, uh, the relief requested. Let's talk about the notice issue. Okay. Um, there was a lot of testimony and evidence that the property was posted, um, which it appears to have been, to me, the issue of notice is that everybody showed up. And there's case law, there's actual notice overcomes you know, the, the deficiency. And there's a Baltimore County case, I think it's the Swarthmore case, right on point. So I don't think that defeats the petition. I also think uh, um, that um, the notice issue should have been raised below and dealt with below, either on reconsideration, at the time of the hearings or whatever. And I, I think in part it was, but uh, I think that's the appropriate place for it. Uh, well, we hear these cases de novo, so. I know. Yeah, no, yeah, it can be raised. Yes, okay. I agree with you, by the way. Mr. Sampson. Concur on the notice issue. Uh, you, you addressed it and you referred to the case and I, I, I don't see it as an issue that precludes us from considering the merits in this case. How about on the uh, special hearing? Yeah, I, I would be inclined. To, I, I'd be inclined to grant the relief if I understand the, the the application of these facts to the law. I think there is the uniqueness of the the building uh, located in the center that virtually renders it unable to be used for the, the, the purpose that um, they're, they're seeking. And while I understand, and I think the, the community's grounds are well articulated and they've done an admirable job uh, preparing for the hearing, presenting their case at the hearing, presenting us with a, a very specific uh, and, and relatively short in number of pages, um, which is a positive uh, memorandum. I, I just think that the law um, on these facts is satisfied and that the, the relief requested uh, is entitled. So I, I would have gone through the same analysis Mr. Lauer went through. I think that the brief from Fazo LLC, likewise with less detail, because I think it's not necessary hits the high points on these issues and it tracks with uh, how I would actually write uh, an opinion in this case. So I would grant the relief requested. It, it meets the uniqueness and the hardship. Mr. Lauer articulated why and I, I don't have any disagreement. I would agree with you both and point out that our statute in, includes in the uniqueness analysis the buildings not just the property. And um, this is an adaptive reuse of a building that was uh, 
of a use, I think a fast food or restaurant that had failed. Um, and it's appropriate for the zone. I think many of the issues the protestants raised will be dealt with uh, as permitting becomes um, an issue because if the BGE line is a problem or if the road is a problem, um, they won't get their permits as they should. I also think based on the conditions in the ALJ's decision, if this is an opportunity for improving the um, streetscape of this property in a way that will only enhance it. Um, I would probably suggest we add a condition that the Office of Planning get to review the architectural excuse me, architecturals, as well as requiring the landscape plan that the ALJ did. Because if this goes forward, it should be for the betterment, not just more of the same. So I think we're in agreement. Is there anything you want to add? No, I would say, as usual, you do a, a fine job in in very articulately explaining uh, in, in, I think, better fashion, certainly than myself, uh, these grounds. And I do appreciate you highlighting something I didn't mean to say and I forgot. The idea, and Mr. Lauer did touch on it, the idea of BGE and, and other concerns that, that really are post board approval if approved. And I think a lot of uh, parties that come before this board that oppose uh, these petitions think that we are to make all of those determinations uh, and, and we're not, and we do consider them. And it, and it may be that we could even agree with the opposition, but that's for permitting. And it's possible that the permits are never issued and, and the, the project doesn't proceed. This is just me adding on at the end, because I think that I, 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 it would, I, I don't know how to help the community in these cases understand that, but maybe it helps me, maybe it's just cold comfort, but these are precise issues that are not before us, but but the case doesn't end with us. It's just a, a, a step in the staircase of procedure that a party has to go through and ultimately to achieve final approval to do the project as designed. That's very well put. And that's one of the reasons I would add Office of Planning Review because the community has fewer tools in their toolbox if a permit is issued um, under the code so that the levels of review give them some input with the local planners who are very sensitive to community concerns. We uh, hear them, we recognize them. We're limited in what we can do. So we do what we can. Yes, thank you I for your I appreciate your comments. Yeah, well, I appreciate your, your leadership uh, in, in this one as with most of them. <laughs> well, thank you, which is going to end in a week. No, but you can still lead as chairing these various panels. And you oh, you're so out. kind. Thank you. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful, happy, healthy holiday. Um, I don't think I'll see you again till the new year. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Laura, you. I think I see you again at 10. Have, have a good holiday. Thank yes. you. All right, I'll see you then. All right. All right, I'm going off the record. All right, all right. thank you. Happy holidays.